What is it my dudes? Kevin here. I'm back with a brand new Red Dead Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the top 5 glitches and exploits in Red Dead Online. Things that cover money, how to get pretty much any clothing you want for free, XP exploits, hunting exploits, and even how to glitch out of an lasso. So we're going to cover a whole bunch of stuff in today's video that's going to help you in Red Dead Online, guys. So if you enjoy this at any point, drop a like down the video and comment down below which is your favorite on this list and which glitches or exploits have you guys been using or just techniques in general. Let me know in the comments. And uh, other than that, subscribe to the channel and let's get right on into this. So the first method I'm going to show you guys is going to be here in Blackwater and you want to go to the dock region right here. Now this method is going to involve a wall glitch where basically you're going to be invincible and be able to pretty much kill anyone in this area without them being able to touch you. So what you want to do is come to the edge of the dock right here guys and just jump in the water. Now once you jump in you'll see this little gap right here and you want to swim to it and go to first person. At this point slightly look to the left between the gap right here and try to wiggle your way in here just keep swimming into it and if you're not seeing any progress or it's not working what you want to do is go back to third person swim away a little bit just like this go back to it go back into first person and continue what you're doing so you're going to keep wiggling and you'll notice see you get pushed through at some point just like that you'll find the sweet spot like i said slightly to the left but once you're in here guys get out of get out of first person walk up to the edge of the water so you're going to walk in, take out your gun. You'll notice you'll be able to aim at people through the wood, but if you shoot, it's going to hit the wood. So what you have to do is go slightly over, but not to the point as where they could shoot you. You got to find the sweet spot. See, now I can see above the boards, but I might not be deep enough in to shoot. Let me see. So let's see. Okay, I am good. So I found the spot. They can't shoot me here. They, can't, they can only see the top of my hat. And I can shoot anybody that I want. So in this method, you can farm XP. Pretty much just kill everybody. You can actually loot the bodies afterwards for the money as well. So definitely a cool technique you can use to farm XP. To farm challenges. If you guys have any sharpshooter or combat challenges, you can uh, go to your wards here. And you can pick out which one you want to do. Before you go to the spike, you can be like, okay, I want to get 100 or 1,000 kills with the pistol. You'll come here and you can do those skills. You can pick them out. This is a great spot to do it because you can do it without getting killed. If you're getting shot up, you just walk back in and you're good to go. So now you guys have that down pat. Let's move on to the second technique that I'm going to show you guys here in a second. Well, since we're right by the tailor's shop here in Blackwater, Hello. I might as well good show you guys the clothing glitch here. We can get any kind of accessory clothing, etc. for free at any level. It doesn't matter what level you are, you can bypass that. So what you want to do is come on down to the clothing store. Go ahead and talk to him. Open up the catalog. And I'm going to show you guys with the quality. most expensive coat just to give you guys a good example. What you want to do is pick out whichever coat you want. does not matter, guys. Let's go with this rank 92, 8 gold bar coat. Normally, you wouldn't be able to get this to rank 92. The only way you can get it with, is with gold bars, which is kind of crappy. But there's a way you can get it, guys. All you want to do is press X on it. And once you're here, it's going to bring you to this spot where you can pick your color. Pick out the color that you want. I'm going to go with this nice red color. At this point, hold down L2 on your controller and press circle. Back on out. Hold L2 throughout this whole process, guys. Do not let go of it until I tell you to. So press circle. Now, once you're backed out of his shop, go ahead and open up your own catalog by holding left on the D-pad while holding L2 still. And go to clothing. Go over to accessories. And I want you to buy the cheapest thing in the book which is going to be this necktie over here, which is $6. But I believe I bought all the ones that I could, so I'm going to have to do a different one. Exactly. So I'm going to go over here to the $9 one. I'm going to go ahead and buy it. Now back on out of this one and continue holding L2. Now at this point, you want to go back to the changing room or the wardrobe room, whatever they call it. Go into here. Go down to boots. Click on X. Back out. You'll see your barefoot. And when you're out, you'll notice... That you now have this coat that you just picked out the level 92 coat that we would not normally be able to get so with this method it works on any clothing that you want bandoliers etc as well so definitely check this out guys if you want to get some nice new fashion going on if you're struggling with money you're gonna be looking fresh on these streets real soon now the next method i'm going to show you guys is actually a money making exploit or a fishing exploit you could say here in san denise let me show you guys where we are right here on the map now when you come here you'll see a little fountain or a pond here whatever you want to call it 
and is actually filled with water but inside the water there's no fish at all guys it's literally just water as you can see but there's a trick to get fish into spawn here as many fish as you want an unlimited amount you can do it over and over again so this is pretty much an unlimited fish spawner using this method what you do is you just take out your fishing rod once you have your fishing rod out guys equip bait or lure whichever you have throw that on and then once you do that you'll see fish starting to spawn into the water if they do not simply just cast out a little bit drop it on in as soon as it hits the water you're going to see a lot of fish starting to appear go ahead and reset the cast we're going to put the rod away and you're going to see that fish are now spawning in the water down here so we got we got some bass and the more you do it the longer you keep out your fish around i found it spawns more fish in so at this point all you guys do is take out your vomit rifle and you're going to want to shoot the fish if you're having trouble seeing the fish pop off your dead eye you can see them better but make sure you use the vomit rifle because that will not affect the quality of the fish pick them up put them in your pocket continue with the other one come here boy and as soon as you get them all guys and you cleared it out what you want to do is hop out of the pond or the fountain take out your fishing rod again and as soon as you do see you'll see fish just spawn in out of nowhere into the lake and it looks like we actually got a lake sturgeon to spawn in let me show you guys so yeah it looks like we got a lake sturgeon to spawn in so as you can see you can get any kind of fish that you want here it looks like we got a little a little uh guest popping up a friendly person you could say but definitely a super good spot to farm some fish get some good money in your pockets and the butcher is not that far at all guys the butcher is right down here so you can literally just go back and forth and farm all these fish and you'll be good to go and you'll leave a lot of money in your pockets so let's move on to the fourth technique now the fourth tip I'm going to show you guys involves a lasso glitch where if someone lassos you, you can get out of the lasso instantly and avoid getting griefed or killed by other players. As you know, getting lassoed is a very popular thing in Red Dead Online, but the method to get out of it is very simple. So what you want to do is, as soon as they lasso you guys, go ahead and take out your knife quickly. And on the second time that you take out your knife, it's going to instantly pop you out of the lasso as you guys just saw. So again, you're going to throw the lasso, you pull up your weapon wheel, take out your knife, and then do it again and you're gonna pop right out of the lasso so a super easy way to get out of the lasso guys you just literally open up your weapon or take out your knife do it again and you'll be free from the lasso then you can lasso them kill them and be on your way guys so very helpful tip to avoid griefers or getting killed and rendered online in general and now the last and final money making slash fishing exploit i'm going to show you guys is going to be here near blackwater right on the upper montana river at this location so what you guys want to do is get yourself a deer carcass or any animal carcass actually and you want to come to the end of this little island part in the middle of the river as you guys saw on the map you're going to want to drop this deer carcass right about here in the water it might take a little adjusting but you can find the sweet spot now what's going to happen here is this deer carcass is going to attract a bunch of fish over to it as you'll see all these ripples start slowly moving over to the deer and as they do a certain something happens that well you guys are just gonna have to see so here we got some fish heading over and you're gonna see here they're just gonna pass out and die because the water is so shallow that they can't survive you can literally go afk here come back and there'll be piles of fish that you can pick up and as you can see there's a ton that come and they just keep coming and coming it's an unlimited fishing spot they can get a ton of money so you let it go as long as you want and i'm gonna actually let this go for about a couple minutes or so maybe 30 seconds show you guys how much fish piled up pick them on up and that's about it with this technique then you go back to the butchers and sell them but the good thing about this method is it also works in a bunch of different areas across the map so while these are piling up let me actually show you so some other places that you can do this is over here in Owarjila, or however you pronounce it and just any area where it has a lot of these little islands in the middle of the rivers because you know there's going to be some shallow water in those spots i know for certain this spot actually works you can get salmon with this method and oh creeks also works in a bunch of other places so pretty much you just find your own place and you can use this technique there you just got to make sure the water is shallow enough but as you can see we have a bunch of fish here now guys let me show you some types we got we got bluegills i believe this is going to be a rock bass we got smallmouth basses and even if you're water, they're going to still keep coming, guys. And they come at a quick pace if you get into the right spot or just a good server in general. If they don't die, you can, you can literally just shoot them or uh, whatever you want. But usually they will die. So after you got all the fish you want, what you do is just put the horse back on or put the deer back on your horse. Go to the butcher and you can sell all these fish for good, good money. As you guys know, the rock bass are like $2 each or something. So it adds up to a lot of money real quick. 
But those are the top five money glitches and exploits in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, including other XP ones as well that I showed you guys, and just some brief preventative glitches or exploits, you could say, as well. So, I hope this was helpful. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to drop a like down the video. It does help the channel grow a lot. I don't know what my horse is doing. But other than that, guys, comment down below which one of those is your favorite or which ones have you been using that are not on the list. And uh, other than that, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time for a brand new video. Peace. Also, Merry Christmas.